Hi and welcome to this tutorial on how to share daily weather forecast on Facebook automatically. Guys, weather forecast information is essentially important in our lives as it helps us in scheduling our plans and dress accordingly and make informed decisions. So by sharing daily weather forecast with your friends and followers on Facebook, you can keep them informed about the weather conditions and this is going to be really helpful when the weather conditions are extreme. So here I'm about to show you how you can share daily weather forecast on Facebook automatically using a simple automation technique and we are going to set up this automation without any coding. So let's begin. To set up this automation, we are using Pabli Connect, which is an integration and automation tool. And this is the landing page of Pavli Connect and you can find the link of this page in the description as well. From here you can sign up for free and you will get free automation tasks every month. Okay. So sign up right now from the given link and then sign in and select Pavli Connect product and you will reach the dashboard of Pavli Connect. From here click on this create workflow button. Here you have to provide a suitable name to your workflow. So let me give a name here. So I have given this name and now I can click on create and you can see the workflow page is loading up here and on this page you will find the basic building blocks of the automation which are the trigger and the actions. So trigger is that event which is going to start this workflow and the action would be an automated consequence or the response towards the trigger. So in our use case guys uh, we want that this workflow should trigger every day and get the details of weather forecast and post it on Facebook. So here guys in the trigger when you click it will ask to choose the trigger application. So here I am going to choose schedule by Pabli feature of Pabli Connect. So with the help of scheduler you can schedule the running of your workflow anytime in future according to the given options. Here you can see we have these options. You can make this workflow run at regular intervals once every day any day of the week or any date of the month so i want this workflow should run every day so i'm selecting every day option here you can choose a suitable time uh, on which you want to post so i'm selecting the time let's say 7 7 a.m daily okay so click on save and you can see the workflow is scheduled to run at this time daily now after uh, triggering it, it should get the weather forecast data. So to get the weather forecast data, we are using weather API tool. It's an API based tool to get the information of weather forecast. You can see weather API. And uh, here you can see guys on the weather API Explorer, API Explorer page, it is asking for the API key. Here you have to put the value of the place uh, of which you want to get the locate get the weather updates and here it is uh, asking for the forecast option under forecast you have to provide these on information so guys to get, get this api key you have to log in into your weather api account and here when you go to your go to my account section okay this page will open up let me show you and here you will find the api key okay now guys you have to copy the api key then go back to api explorer under api explorer paste the api key after pasting the api key here you have to fill your city's name my city's name is bhopal so i have filled it and then click on this forecast option and here it will ask uh, the number of days of which you want to get the forecast so here you can see it is asking number of days of weather forecast ranging from 1 to 10. So you can get maximum 10 days of forecast in future. So I am just uh, adding the value 1 here because our workflow is going to trigger daily and get the forecast details. So I have selected 1. I want the air quality data as well. So I selected yes. And if you want to get weather alerts, you can make it yes. I have selected it no for now. And here click on show response option and this API call will be showing you the data here in this format. Okay. So first of all guys here to connect with weather API, I am going to use API by Pabli feature. Here is API selected. 
and here you have to select the action event as get to get the data and here you have to paste the endpoint URL from where you want to fetch the data okay so I want to fetch the data from this URL that we have generated using the API call of weather API so you have to copy this API call URL and you have to paste this here in this endpoint URL field okay and no authentication is required here so select no auth then click on save and send test request button and the weather data the forecast data will be captured here in the response section here you can see in the response we have received the locations name the country's name region the latitude longitude details the time zone details and here you can see guys the current weather data is here so here in the first part of the response it will show you the current details that means the current weather conditions of this date and time you can see and current details are these 39 is the centigrade temperature this is in Fahrenheit the weather is sunny and these are all the details and when you scroll down here it will show you the air quality data as well and here when you scroll down you will find this forecast zero date so this is the forecast data this is not the current data this is the forecast data of today okay so how the weather will be today is going to appear here in these forecast zero days labels okay so here it will show you the date of forecast then it will show you maximum temperature in centigrade then in fahrenheit then in then it is it will show you the minimum temperature in centigrade fahrenheit and when you scroll down you will find the average humidity and chances of rain the weather condition okay then air quality index data okay so this is all we want right now and i want to share it on facebook for that to happen just click here on this plus icon and another action step will open up here we are going to connect with facebook pages so select facebook pages option and then select the action event as create page post then click on connect button from here select add new connection then click on connect with facebook pages so it might bring you to the login window if you're not logged in in facebook but i have already logged in so it is just asking me to continue on uh, by selecting my name okay continue on that and you can see we are now connected and here it is asking to select your pages name so the name of my page is this pavli okay so i'm going to select it from here like this okay then it is asking for the message that you want to post so here let me type the uh, post that i want to share so guys i have written a simple message here today's weather forecast and here i want to share these things maximum temperature in centigrade weather condition air quality index and the average humidity so guys i am going to map the values of these things from this previous step okay so to map these labels here in this message you just have to click here like this in front of this maximum temperature and the previous steps will appear here in the drop down and from the second step you can see the data right here so from the forecast labels you have to map the data so here is maximum temperature in centigrade label i am mapping it here similarly you will find the weather conditions data also here you can see the temperature details and here you can see the condition label map it and then you have to find the air quality index label so this is the air quality index okay 367.86 map it similarly you will find the humidity average humidity here is average temperature okay here is humidity in percentage map it and then put a percentage sign as well so that it will be clear for our viewers okay now uh, i have completed the post and i have mapped the labels so you have to map the labels only once in this workflow after that it will be updated automatically every day whenever the workflow is going to trigger okay so here guys you can check your connection with facebook page as well this is my facebook page and i'm going to click on save and send test request button and a new post will be created here 
let's see i am clicking on save and send test request and a test post will be created you can see a new test post id is created let's see in our page now i am refreshing the page okay and here you can see we got a new post created and with the same details the weather forecast details is this are these you can see so this is the same message i have curated here in the workflow so this is how it is going to work guys so we are done setting up this automation and you have to set up it only once after that it is going to run every day at your as per your schedule and i'm going to paste the link of this workflow in the description as well so that you can clone this workflow in your own free pably connect account and start using this automation instantly guys if you want to connect with our support team you can email us at support at the ratepably.com you can ask and discuss your queries on our forum via this link and you can check the pricing plans of pably connect via pably.com slash connect hashtag pricing and guys if you like our videos do not forget to like share and subscribe thank you so much